Hidden Object Guru here with Hot New Game Cannon Ship. Oh, this is weird. So, are you ready for this? Clicking down or up on my controller also acts as selecting yes or no. That's strange. All right, let's do it. One player, please. Uh, shoot. Or use a gamepad. This is cute. So it's like our type. Or, oh, this is bad. Gradius. Just a regular side scrolling shooter. I mentioned our type because those enemies look not dissimilar to the. Uh, oh, no! Pay more attention over it. The ship you use in our type. It's got a great big blue cockpit in front of it. Oh, it was a nightmare. Okay, well, this is getting embarrassing. Hopefully, I'll be able to upgrade soon. Hey, I'm looking at my guy in this old-timey plan. I'm trying to remember, what was the name of that, I think, Capcom uh, horizontal shooter? Lost Island 1931, something like that. Anyway, it's it's like a Gradius type, but you're flying in a biplane and you battle dinosaurs. And I remember really liking that game and wondering if I ever beat it. I think I only ever played it in arcades, so I doubt I beat it. It's, I'm not the type of person to ever have enough money to bring to an arcade to beat a game. Uh, boom. Ow. I am rubbish at this bad boy. What is the electric sim- Oh, it's extra health. Okay, nice. So it increases my shield value. I think we should be looking in at a boss pretty soon, right? Ah! These guys shoot very late in their path. Yeah, this is getting real embarrassing. Oh, that was it. Oof. Do I have a secret weapon, or can I get a... It's just, I went through three minutes of this level without getting a single weapon upgrade? And that doesn't seem very Gradius. That feels more Defender, except the difference is in Defender, your default weapon is unbelievably badass. I don't know if you've played Defender. Anyway. Oh my god, you have a laser that just fills the screen and anything it even slightly touches explodes into pixels. It is... Defender's a gorgeous game. Uh, my favorite launch title for the... PS4 was a fake remake of Defender. Do I remember what it was called? No! But it was really wonderful. You flew around a voxel world. It was just gorgeous. Alright, here we go. We got the giant Zeppelin-style monster ship. Wow, he went down hard. Which is what you want to see, but still, it's jarring. So wait, the stars are different. I just noticed that below my health bar is a score, which is different from the stars I have. So maybe stars are upgrades for when I complete the level? And the score is just for leaderboards? Rezo Gun. Thank you, Mike. Yes. Rezo Gun is the game I'm talking about. I played the H out of that. Platinum, platinumed it on my second day of owning a PS4. Played it more than Black Flag. Which was also pretty good. Black Flag's a pretty good game. And obviously, in the end, I, uh... Uh, would end up playing Black Flag more than Rezogun, because it's not like I went back to Rezogun a bunch after getting the Platinum, but it's an amazing game. The Silver Surfer game, you mean for the NES? Yeah, that was the same kind of horizontal shooter. I feel like this is a really long level. Does anyone else feel like this is, like, a weirdly long level? We seem to be in this forest for, like, a while. Oh, here we go. Finally, we get to the boss, just as I'm starting to complain about the length of the level. Nice timing, game. I mean, ideally, you would have gotten me to the boss five seconds before I started complaining about the length of the level, but still. I still haven't played Knack. It's really embarrassing. 
Shot speed, shot wave, ship speed. There we go. I know Elijah was telling me NAC 2 is pretty good, though. Maybe something for me to check out. Since you can essentially, you know, buy them for pocket change now. Assuming you keep $10 in change in your pocket. Which is hard to do in America, but very easy in Canada because we have $2 coins. So here's a fun fact about the denominations on coins. In America, there was basically no meaningful inflation. Ow! From like the 1890s to the 1940s. Everything pretty much cost around the same. And so for that entire time, a glass bottle of Coke cost one nickel. But in the 50s, when inflation was finally started kicking in, Uh, Coke realized they couldn't keep turning an obscene profit if they caught, charged more than a nickel for a glass bottle of Coke. So the solution was, and this is a true story, the head of Coke... No, they got me! Uh, the head of Coke... You can reach the shot power, nice. Maybe I'll repair this time. The head of Coke went to the U.S. government and says, here's what we need you to do. We think we're worried that people are not going to want to continue buying Coke if it's 10 cents. Because that's doubling the price. But we can't afford... I mean, they could afford to. We, we won't keep making obscene profits if we keep charging 5 cents for it. So we would like to ask you, the US government, to start putting out a 7 cent coin. That would essentially just be for operating Coke machines. And that would be really all the seven cent coin was for. And the treasury said to them, are you very stupid? Obviously we're not gonna do that. Just start charging 10 cents for Coke. And they did, and no one even slowed down buying Coke, and Coke remained profitable forever. So that's the, two, the true story. Burn. Wait, I tried to pause. And it took me out of the game? Okay, don't pause. It quits the game. That's weird. Why is the date that the... Let's try shot power. See what that does. Oh, nice. Double my power. We're going to have a champagne jam, everybody. Uh, but yes, why is there some significance to how old the GTA 5 trailer is rather than GTA 5 the game? I mean, I guess it was a pretty famous trailer, but, you know. And it came out, like, this day in July, eight years ago? It's like, wait for the 10th anniversary. I still can't believe that it, they're, like, they were bragging that there's going to be a Grand Theft Auto 5 as a launch title on the PlayStation 5. I'm like, that's an eight-year-old game. Who cares? It was bad enough when they were bragging it was going to be on Xbox One and PS4. Ow. I'm like, yeah, but I already played it a year and a half ago. What are you doing? Now it's eight years later and they're still bragging about Grand Theft Auto 5? Wake me when it's time for Grand Theft Auto 6, guys use the vernacular vernacular and yet somehow I can't bring myself to care Whew. how do I keep doing this I keep pausing to like this is very embarrassing I keep like pausing to what is shot type oh nice I keep pausing to give my finger a rest because I'm pretty just pretty much just holding down the trigger and pausing seems to make me yeah it quits the game I'm like, is it flashing through the quit screen? No, it's not. It's just, it quits the game. It's poorly coded. Dear developer, make it so pause brings up a menu instead of insta quitting the game. Please. Yes. What 
was the side-scrolling shooter where you play as a bunch of uh, ladies who have hover sleds? Really enjoyed that one, and I can't remember the name. It's a little embarrassing, actually. Very cool 3D worlds and backgrounds. Ow. These guys flying from the back of the screen really boil my potato. Of course, in real life, I actually only steam potatoes. But, you know, I still think the, the statement makes, you know, approximate sense. There are a lot of choppers in the game. You're not wrong. Boom. Come on. So maybe someone who knows a little more about coding can answer me this. Is it actually difficult to turn any... Because I feel like from a coding standpoint, I understand from a technology... Sorry, from a hardware standpoint, it can be hard to process. But from a coding standpoint, isn't it the easiest thing in the world to turn a first-person video game into a VR game? Like, as long as you're not adding motion controls and whatever. Like, if you just, like, take a first-person shooter, but you're still going to aim with the mouse. Or, well, you're probably going to do look aim, but maybe aim with the mouse or look aim. And just make it so on the right screen. Oh my god. It shifted X amount to the... Ooh, forking. So the left screen is shifted X amount millimeters to the left of the right screen, and then boom, 3D depth of field effects. Isn't that all you need to uh, turn any game into a VR game? Because I've been playing around with this, um, oh god, what's it called? I mean, it's on my desktop, you can just check. I've been playing around with that program that like turns any game into a VR game, and I'm surprised at how many games it's succeedingly turning into VR. Like, I was playing Batman Arkham Asylum in VR, and you know what? Yeah, it, it works. Works perfectly. And to which I respond, well, why aren't you doing this with all first-person games, let alone third-person games? I mean, hell, like, the best, uh, the most visually impressive non-Mario third-person platform I've ever played is Robo Rescue, and that's entirely VR. Because being able to freely look around while you're doing platforming with a controller, guess what? It works perfectly. Boom. Like, it's so good that the idea of playing a platformer not in 3D seems ridiculous to me. And yet they don't make other VR, sorry, 3D, VR platformer seems ridiculous to me, and yet they just don't make them. Very strange. Why won't you die? Thank you. Die. Okay, well, this is getting ridiculous. I obviously need more firepower. I'm barely staying alive at this point. Also, these guys that hit twice should probably give me more than one star. But that's a that's a whole other conversation. Astrobot. Yeah, Robo Rescue. Isn't Astrobot Robo Rescue the full title? Or have I been calling it the wrong name this whole time? Rather embarrassingly. But that's possible too. Oh my god, I'm cornered now. Well, I'm just giving up all that money. Alright, we're stopping Cannon Ship. I have to accept this. I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. I'm just as bad at horizontal shooters as I remember. So, I think it's a good time to really call it. My only note is, uh, maybe give me a little more money so I can upgrade more in between the first and second levels, A and B. Make it so I can pause the game without quitting the main menu. That's, like, kind of big. I'll see you back here for more, but until then, I'm going to say that's right. Au revoir.